Hi ladies, your bitch is back. So this week is a sort of different tutorial. It, it's not, it really isn't. I always do this. This is a Halloween inspired tutorial and what I was going for was a sort of vampire look. If you know Vampire, she's that lady that goes <laughs> the beginning of her videos and she's so beautiful with the smallest waist but whatever that's not the point the point is that I wanted to do a tutorial inspired by her but then I got a bit carried away and I painted myself red and then I couldn't do her eyebrows so then I was like fuck it and I just did my own thing and um yeah so let's get started welcome ladies to one of my longest tutorials ever please bear with me so to begin we're gonna brush our brows and try to block them off now please forgive me this isn't the best blocking tool i mean method but because i did not have glue or anything i i youtube quickly how to block up your brows without glue and this method is shit I wouldn't recommend it to anyone, it really really is shit. Maybe if you have really thin brows it would work, but mm -mm, don't do this. I'm just going to brush out my brows in an attempt to block them out. And they said to use lash glue, so I'm going to fucking use lash glue. It worked on them, but not me. Um, and I'm just going to put on some translucent powder to just seal that down. But because it's lash fucking glue, it started moving and just doing its own thing. It was a really, really bad idea. I'm gonna go back again with that jumbo stick just to try and hide my fucking eyebrows, which weren't hiding. And I was dragging, like, mm -mm, don't do this, D don't do this. This is a terrible, terrible method. Um, but whatever, I'm just gonna use my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. And I'm gonna put on a lot of primer because I want to protect my face because the product that I'm using is on my face is a lipstick and I don't know what's gonna happen once that goes on my face and I've never used this product before so I'm just gonna use um, a lot of um, primer and I'm also gonna use a lot of that uh, translucent powder to really really hide my face I know I look crazy over here I look horrible but it's fine I'm just gonna dust all of that translucent powder off your face and then you're going to begin to put on that lipstick this is a red lipstick that i got from Discam. it was on sale it was about 18 or 20 rand it smells weird but it's fine and i'm just going to smear that all over my face as if i was using a stick foundation what i would suggest is that you don't use a beauty blender because that sucks up all of the product but rather use a face brush which would work better at dragging another thing is that the translucent powder really um, sucked up all of all of the products so it became really difficult to move it around my face which is why I also ended up using a face brush I look like a potato I look like a tomato actually um, and um, what was I saying oh the translucent powder because it is a matte lipstick and translucent powder also makes things matte it was really difficult for me to like drag the lipstick across my face but I would hi also highly recommend that you use a face brush to on the delicate parts of your face so like your under eyes and your eyelids and be very very careful around those areas because your face is, a, is very important it's incredibly important and if you mess that up whoops what are you going to look like for the rest of the day it will hurt your self esteem and it's really difficult to interact with other people when your face looks like shit so protect your face girls protect your face so i'm gonna continue to like blend my face with this face brush and then i'm gonna use the l'oreal i think it's a l'oreal transition powder that is really really brown it's for the brown girls but i used this one because it had pigment and i didn't want to be white on my face so um I wanted to keep the pigment so I used this L'Oreal translucent powder. Next I'm going to go into my favorite palette, the Meet Matrimony, and I'm just going to contour with that red shade. I'm not too sure if it's Matte Reed, but I use the shade all the time. It's absolutely amazing and it's my favorite shade. And I'm going to contour my whole face. With the contour brush, which is actually a blush brush I learned the other day, um, don't, don't use it horizontally, use it vertically. If that makes sense but don't drag it to the point where it looks like a line it has to blend upwards so use it like how I'm using it 
whatever it doesn't make sense anyways i'm going to move on to using my essence concealer um this is the color number three and i didn't want to use white because well it was going to ruin my pigment so then i used something with a bit of a, a hint of color um this is very very pale for my natural skin tone but anyways i'm just gonna blend that in with the booty blender which worked better than i had expected another thing that i picked up was that this um concealer really picked up the blue um type of undertone in the in the lipstick and it really really heightened it which i didn't like but it doesn't matter because i got this far so we're going to continue to paint our face Next, I'm going to use a black liner. This is a liner from Essence, which works amazingly. And this was the first time I ever used it. So I was really impressed. Kudos to Essence. And I'm just going to drag that. I'm just going to draw on eyebrows. Whoa, drag that. I'm going to draw on eyebrows and try fill in and try create a shape. Then I'm going to go back to my Meet Matrimony palette and use the black um, powder to like create an eyebrow shape and to fill in where I need filling in at this point of the video I was trying to do an sort of vampire inspired eyebrow but it became very difficult so then I didn't do it so now I'm just using my natural eyebrow shape and just trying to do what I can over here I had concealed my eyebrows with the same um, essence concealer in color 3 now I'm just trying to fill in the parts of my eyebrows where I feel like I should have eyebrow hair. And I'm doing that with the Meet Matrimony um, palette color. I forgot the name, but it's the black one. So to continue with my eyebrows, which was a mission to do, I'm just going to brush them off so that there's a little bit of like a sort of like light to dark type of movement going on with my eyebrows and i'm also gonna make sure that they don't create like a mono brow type effect so i'm just gonna work with my eyebrows till they get to the point where i am happy with them now i'm gonna prime my lids i'm using that same essence concealer that i've been using for 3075 years then I'm going to use a booty, oh, no I'm not. I am going to use a brush because I'm classy today. I'm going to use a brush to spread out the concealer. Yeah. And then I'm going to use a beauty blender to kind of like make the blend and everything kind of more better. Then I'm going to go into my Meet Matrimony palette again. And I think this is Matt Lynn. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I'm going to use Matt Lynn to, as an eyeshadow base and also to sit in the, the concealer that I had used on my eye. And also use it as a brow bone highlight and also to hide that mess that is my brow bone but then now I'm gonna use that same LA girl I'm um, translucent powder to um, bake my face this helped a lot with removing that blue undertone that was on my face now I'm gonna carve out how I want my eyeshadow to go and I want it to be like that which is a sort of wing type vibe look I don't know how to describe it, but I'm going to use a um, that same brush that I used on my eyebrows. I'm going to use to carve out the shape of my eyeshadow. And here I'm using the brown shade in my um, Meet Matrimony palette. I think this one's Matt Reed. Or that one's the one that I can't pronounce. But I don't know. Next, I am going to take my blending brush and just blend up all of that powder. Just keep blending all of the colors so that it looks presentable and blended. Then I'm going to take the black after I've blended. I'm going to take the black. I'm going to use a different brush because I thought it would blend, but it didn't. 
And I'm going to put the black in the crease of my eye and create this, a similar shape to what I created before. I don't seem to mind, no, when you come to mind, or oh, that we chasing from behind, I know, can't go slow, no, can't complain, no, we can turn back the clock, make a moves that I thought I wanted back at 21, then I'm gonna go back with my blending brush and just blend upwards, so that the brown and the black blend, and there's some type of gradient effect happening less, but on I my face. All of me, wanting more. Yeah. I never knew my chances on the way up. Then what I'm gonna do next is use my lid I think, on my eyelid. And just to create a sort of a crease, but it won't be perfect. But then when I was at the kids, I want to do the wrong color. So I'm gonna continue to apply the shade until I am happy with it. I'm just gonna dust off all of that baking with my face because I want to do my lower lash line. Now I'm just gonna apply some liner. Um, this is a liquid liner that it's another cheap one. I think this is Beauty Treats as well. And um, I'm just looking for something to fan my liner down. Next I'm going to go back to the Meet Matrimony palette and use the black to sort of set my liner and also to sharpen it a little bit. And then I had already lined my lips over here with that same Essence black liner. And now I'm going to take the LA Girl lipstick black lipstick and just put it all over my lips so here I'm just attempting to roll my hair in so that I look sort of pin up -y, sort of like vampire but this is essentially the finished look on my lips I put on a little bit of that pressed glitters from beauty treats which I hate it did not look glittery instead it looked like just a metallic cream shadow but it's fine on my highlight I used a shade from that LA Girl, I mean LA Goulding collaboration with MAC and it's my absolute fave. Oh my god, I am obsessed. Okay, so this is the finished look of the tutorial. You could continue to paint your hands right, and your arms and like your whole body, but I didn't really have some sort of like cream paints that I could use. That's why I ended up using weight lipstick. If you can use lipstick, go use lipstick, but don't use something too expensive like a MAC. Go to Discam, they have sales all the time on lipstick. Just be very careful because sometimes most of their products look kind of off. So you don't want to put that on your skin and then you get a reaction. So be very careful with what you pick out. And for your base, you can honestly just go to Discam, pick a cheap lipstick that has a lot of, a lot of pigment. That's the reason why I picked this one with loads of pigment. But you also have to bear in mind the undertones. But I found um, as I was making this tutorial is that the undertone for this one was kind of blue, which me it just didn't look good on me. So then I had to like rework and figure out how to like place things on my face, which was too much effort. I wouldn't like that. But if you can afford a proper cream um, type of foundation or cream base, I would suggest that you get the one from Krylon or any of these other major brands because the small brands don't really have. Like I went to the Five Rand shop. And they had like the tiny thing that they use as face paint for like a soccer game which wouldn't last you like a, a, a day or a night these things tend to melt off so that's another thing that you have to look out for um i would suggest that if you take a lipstick that you take a matte lipstick and test it out on your skin before you take it that's what i did i swatched it before and the swatch was nice and dark and amazing you can't actually see it oh, i actually suck at swatching so what I did before is that I swatched it before I actually took it and then I walked around a little bit and saw that it was still on my skin so then I bought it. Um, another thing that I would suggest is that if you're going to get a um, cream um, pressed glitters, I would suggest that you don't get this one. This pressed glitter turns metallic. It's not really a pressed glitter at all. Like all it's like a cream eyeshadow at least. It's honestly the worst product that I've bought this month. I hate it. And the thing is that I couldn't really test it 
initially it is a pressed glitter but as you continue to use it over time i'm not going to swatch like that anymore let me actually swatch properly for you as you use it over time it becomes a sort of like creamy base and it becomes difficult to use so i wouldn't really suggest that you get this um but if you have other places where you could get like black glitter, I would suggest that you get loose glitters. Cream glitters are very difficult to use, especially if you're a, a beginner. I'll suggest that you use a, uh, loose glitters and put them wherever you want to put them. Another thing for Halloween is to not just use any type of glitter. Just because the glitter is fine, it doesn't mean that it's okay to put on your face. Um, if you don't use face glitters, it could get into your eye and it could scrape your cornea and you could go blind. That's an extreme scenario, but still, it's a possibility that that could happen. So be very careful with the stuff that you put on your face during Halloween. Be careful of the, 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 the bloods and where you get your products is also incredibly important. Also, with sharp objects that you put on your face, I'd suggest that you don't do that. If you're going to put an object on your face, let's say some people put like barbed wire, which I would say don't do that. Some people put glass, which I'd say don't do that, and all these other things. I wouldn't suggest that you do that, especially if you're not a qualified makeup artist. I would never do that because I don't know how to. But um, for the future, for like any type of Halloween thing, I highly, highly suggest that you stay safe. Test out the products, read the ingredients because there might be stuff that you're allergic to. Um, especially for things like if you're going to put on eyelashes, make sure that you aren't allergic to latex and don't get latex glue if you are. Um, and yeah, just have fun with it. Halloween is not that serious to be honest. Just, just do what you can. And yeah, so that's the tutorial with a little bit of advice that I actually didn't intend on telling you on. And um, I'll see you when I see you. At the moment I'm like swamped with work so I don't even know if there will be a tutorial or something next week but just forgive me and bear with me. It's like exam season is coming up and I have so many assignments to do but just bear with me. And another thing that I wanted to say was um, thank you to everyone who's been watching my tutorials. I like the support that you're giving me. Um, it's been a difficult journey considering that I always have to set us up time and everything. Um, but the support has been really, really good and really, really encouraging. So I'd just like to say thank you. And I want you to enjoy your day and to stay safe, especially for Halloween. And I want to say um, I hope you enjoyed your Friday the 13th. And I will see you when I see you. Maybe next week, maybe not, but whatever. So it's been me, Petticoat, and I'll see you whenever. Bye.